Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigla here, welcome back to our video. So we're in the secondary account, I am Harley here with Dark Metal cards. This man with uh, puppets, so I can apply debuffs from time to time. And her with uh, crown. And with debuffs I mean just the buff with damage against target. It's gonna get applied roughly two or three times if I'm lucky per fight, but it's still pretty good. And yeah, obviously we could have used this crown on Harley, but... Uh, Oracle is quite annoying, so I want to just not have to worry about anything against her. And having this setup ensures that after I'm done with super move. After super move, we just don't worry about anything. Okay, EPI in for some power generation. And now it begins. Oh boy, that's that's a relief because I, I honestly kind of forgot to check if she is uh, stun resistant or not. And obviously her being stun resistant would have been a bit inconvenient. Oh, though somebody is going to have to tank super move. Okay, please, please don't die. That'll be great. Okay, that's great. Good job. Okay, we do have the damage against targets. So now is the time to deal some damage. I think the right play there might have been to stay with Harley for one more stun, but now she still takes benefit from the... Damage against target thing that still did not expire, and we also get the guaranteed crits, so maybe not a worse decision. Okay, this one well. This one really well. Let's take a look at the rewards now. Oh wow, Atlantic Armor, Aquaman, and an Amulet of Agility. That's that's great. Okay, so something that I really like is the Twin Blade on Flash, and I gave him some armor pierce on the talents because that frees up a slot. I could just put just a Aquaman in there, but having armor pierce on the talents lets me use a different support character. And as you can see here, we got 24, 36, 48, 60 from here. Then we take a look at this. This is going to give me 40. So every single hit will be armor pierce and every single value will be doubled. Then we have Raven with Puppet so that she from time to time applies that debuff. And yeah, let me just make sure she's not immune to armor pierce because that would be unfortunate. No, she's not. And yeah, let's get this going. We might still level 2 Twin Blades, so this will definitely be so much better in the future. I want to get 5 Raven Darkness decks as quickly as possible. I guess another option for Raven uh, other than Puppets, and I think actually a better option for Raven than Puppets here would have been um, Dark Metal cards, because we do leave that Dark Metal cards area on tag out, and Flash would have had guaranteed crits, so that's something I could have definitely considered. And also only a level 4 crown for passive stats. My bad there. I failed the combo interruption. I think Flash can kinda no 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 can can tank super move. I think he can tank it. Yes he definitely did. But that leaves me with not that much health to work with. 
attacking Cyber would have wasted quite a bit of time. Also, vibe check on this. Eh, kind of worked it, I guess. Okay, we got a damage buff, negative effect. Almost messed up there. Just got blinds, that's decent. Not that required, but decent. Uh, I guess I was not close enough with Raven there. And she felt like she had enough space to jump attack, though. It's fine, we didn't lose that much because of this. Ah, went decently well. Yet again, it's only a level 2 Twin Blades, so this is going to have a lot of potential in the future. And use Batman the Drown here because she's a uh, white canary character and she's gonna be very annoying to fight and she can't be stunned, so no League of Anarchy. So the only way to make this, I mean, there are more ways than that, but the most convenient way for the secondary account to make this an easy fight is going to be Gat Killer Batman the Drown. Okay, back off a bit. Block disabled and let's keep pushing her to the corner. Three mil per second for super move, that's okay, I guess. Level 4 crown is not gonna give me the highest passive stats, so it's kind of expectable damage. And I don't think I actually need to tag out. Yeah, she's definitely dying, though it'll take a bit more. I mean, Robin King is not here, but something that would make him... Uh, so much more amazing than his is that instead only when there's the victim debuff active he will passively he would passively give faster crisis generation to all the characters on basic hits like as a permanent thing so it is good enough as he is but that would be great because i'm really missing the uh fastness at which i generate power crisis energy excuse me whenever there's a robin king there There we go, we activate it again. And this should do, this should be it. They should do it. There we go. Let's move on. And try killing Firestorm with Crown King plus Zatanna. Zatanna's got pop equipped, so we hopefully trigger the infinite power early. And get all the percentage and all the damage buff done.
wanted to say that I never noticed how tall Firestorm is, but he's kind of cheating because he's floating a bit. I'm not sure about that, actually. Okay, infinite power, that was very fast. This is one of the good situations with Zatanna infinite power. We've seen a couple of bad ones, too. And we're done. Get King in there. Oh, rebound? Nope. I can tag in and out for a bit of power generation, I guess. Bro, I pressed the tag and bots and why, why is that not working? I don't think I did anything wrong there. If I die, I die. I didn't. That's great. And after you have 30 stacks, it's only one more third special to reach max stacks. With passive as well. The super move should do a decent amount of damage here. Because of the combination of Crown plus the Tana. Ah, 6.4, it, it's okay. It's reasonable. Now if we kill this man, it depends on the power rebounds and the crits on the third special. That's a crit, that's great. Though I don't think we kill him. Okay, that's a power rebound, that's great. Another power rebounds. Well, this is... As far as King plus the Tenable's crown goes, with a level 4 crown. Didn't go terribly, but definitely could have gone better. I mean, not really, because I don't feel like I made many, mis many mistakes here. What could have gone better is the higher level artifacts. I'm going to hopefully kill Starfire with this team. Got the Revenge with Puppet. Got the... Uh, Black Adam with uh, Twin Blade, so he does his percentage health damage faster and he has some armor pierce from that and have the uh, Crown of Vixen. Okay, let's let's calm down a bit. Now I have special two disabled, so to apply um, the negative effect I need to do a few basics and now we can disable her specials. Make sure we refresh this. So we're benching a couple of special ones at the start, because most of uh, my uh, negative effects come from disables that will go away as soon as I use the third special. Okay, and we didn't lose the power. That's great. I'm gonna eventually lose it again, but it's okay, that's what Black Adam is here for. Okay.
There we go. Easy cleanup. Now let's move on to the last fight of the video. And for last fight I'm going to use uh, Black Adam with Puppet and Grodd. Since I'm not using the Bat Ninja team anymore, Grodd can easily get me to enough Puppet stacks. Okay, infinite power triggered super from this man, though I don't really feel like it was necessary. Uh, Grod, Grod, get back in there. Okay, special two to apply to more negative effects. Now super move. Now let's kill this man. Got him in the corner. A lot of crit for this though. Please don't lose infinite power though. You really need to keep that. We're definitely making progress. It's going a bit slower than I was expecting to be honest. But it's definitely gonna kill him. There we go, one minute left, right with Mad Bandit, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you on the next one, goodbye!